to get it done between now and the 8th of July. Uh, unless we can get the whole staff of DPW and possibly some uh, outside help, resources, whatever, uh, I don't think it's possible to do all of this. Completely right, and we should not. We should. We can identify some major unanswered questions that will need further research. But we have done all we can hope to do. We did great. <laughs> so, are we planning a meeting next week? No. No. <laughs> no. We're well, planning. No, the, only, the only reason why I say that is because I got to take a stab at taking all this information, which I put into different sections. And some of it has to get changed, and I think we need to finalize some of this because some of it changed today, which I'd already gone through, but it's no big deal. Um, but if we can identify it, I'd like to put it as a package and at least have you take a look at it, which leads to Emery stepping up today, saying that he would come and go through it with me as well to make sure that it's formatted in, in a minute. But I, I would like to present something to the group to look at before we. Yeah, trusting yeah. me to let it rip. <laughs> <laughs> How about by email, John? Whatever way. Because, well, I mean, some of the stuff I can scan and be fine. I think our goal was to come out of this meeting tonight with enough information for you that we weren't going to touch it again. You almost That's what I need. Yeah. yeah. Plenty of time to talk. Yeah. yeah. And if you have it, questions and, you know, you're in it, then I think, you know, well, I got to take some of it from PDF and convert yeah. it so I can edit yeah. it. And, yeah. But, I'm, I'm but part of the reason that. we part of the reason we we decided to have this meeting was because we, after last meeting we weren't in a position where we could hand it off to you. And it's in, we don't we don't want you to be in a position where you're doing back and forth with us yeah. on yeah. on on, yeah. on substantive shit. You know, we we really want you to be in a position where you're doing editing. So the the information that I have, um, and I'll go. And I've already started. Um, has everybody presented their final information? There was a question about the introduction. You asked me tonight, Emery. Yes, Chris uh, uh, is not sure what he meant by that. So we've set, we're, we have a drop dead date of 48 hours. Call it dead. Let's just, let's <laughs> okay. let's just move. That's so the last one dead. that I have, is it? Yeah. Okay. That, that, those are the, the ones with Dan's suggestions in it. Uh, yes, that's the one I have. Yeah. The last one. There was one, there's one thing right. which I'm, and it's the CDM report, and I want to get to that when we get to it, yeah. but uh, that was the only portion. Right. Okay. And I'll go home tonight, edit this, to just fix the mistakes, and mail it right out to you. So my goal was to complete it for next Thursday morning, just to get everything done. So okay. if you want to schedule some time with me next Wednesday to come by, or I'll come visit you either way, uh -huh. and we'll just take a peek at it and make sure that. Let's see. And then I could have it emailed for everybody on Thursday, which would give you Wednesday. Maybe I ought to get in the right week. That would be helpful. Be nice. I can come anytime Wednesday. Like, I think it's okay. My, my wife has got like something good from time. nine o'clock on, so she'll have no authority oh, over oh, what she knows. Oh, you know, she's not on the Free yeah. goal. Gotcha. <laughs> if I get back by four o'clock, she'll never know. John may need you to come later than four. Henry. I'll have to get a pass. <laughs> <laughs> I have to get a pass to go. But I, I think I'm sure I can work that out. If it comes to that, John, we can work yeah. after four. So why don't we say ten o'clock? Sure. You want to come visit me? Because I can I'll just spread stuff you. all out. And yep. I think there's no reason for you to pack it off and drive over to my house or drive over here. That's crazy. I'm at 126 West Street, where I am, second floor. 126 West Street, West Street, second floor. I'll even bring you a pastry. People that aren't hungry are much easier to get along with. Okay, I won't. <laughs> I'll, I'll bring a, a, a an empty paper, a paper bag. <laughs> we'll put a, we'll, the smell. Yeah, we'll, we'll write something on it, and you can it'll be imaginary. How's that? Mm -hmm. And then in the um, in the back in the appendix, we were going to have all the meeting minutes, and I was missing the question for Jim. Um, I was missing four eighteen and five nine. Is that right? Do we have?
have meeting minutes for April 18th. We do. I mean, I can, uh, we actually have compiled the appendices as they were outlined by Dan in his original outline. Okay. So if you want, you yeah. have those. We can give you a so I can just check them. And send you send you a, an email and do a file transfer okay. to get gets <coughs> all of those appendices. And, and the yeah, because that's the thing. I didn't know if I had all of them. And then I went to the website and I went to my files and we'll I just kind of put them all in there. Yep. Okay. And I can just go through the report and put in which ones I have. Is it our plan that we're going to print this on paper or are we going to get yeah. somebody a CD? Or? Both. 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 Hey, we have to have yeah. yeah. I was just going to make a number of copies. Yeah. 50. 50. I don't know. <laughs> What's 50 is the number I said. 50. I have no idea. Well, it's just going to be the joint committee. I'm going to on the committee. You'll get a credit for that. Five? Yes. <laughs> Seven. Seven. Store, store water. <laughs> <laughs> Do we need? I don't know how many. I don't, I don't know what the numbers would be. Ned would know. Uh, we'll uh, cut down half the forest in Northampton. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Isn't he? Uh, I would like to have Chris. Chris. A printed copy how many on the joint committee? Well, we'll give you a CD and you can go print it. I've never been. I'm not on it. Well, I think it's six. How many people are on the well, joint you'll committee? Have it, you'll have it electronic. How many people yeah, yeah, are on the I joint committee? Six. Yeah, I think it's six. The the joint paper in my I'm hand. not allowed in the room. Six. 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 Okay, so there's six, six copies. plus us. Um, I don't want a hard copy. Well, so. No, he's on a desk. I want it electronically. Yeah, I want it electronically. I want to deal with it. I hope you sell them. Who absolutely needs a hard copy? This is Paul Spector need a hard copy? I've received yeah. precious little guidance from Paul Spector on this. So he's on the know. he's on the joint committee. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. he'll get one. Yeah. I'd say we do. I six, would say six, yeah. six on the joint committee. Right? We recognize Jim, or if the committee is willing to recognize. I, I would suggest that John give us the, the document in PDF format, and we'll make copies for whoever wants them. Oh, that's, that's great. Yeah. That's that's great. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so if people want a hard copy, just send me an email. And we'll have copies available. What I can do is, does everybody want a hard copy here? No. No. Just electronics, fine for me. No. I will buy one. Mr. Reckman does. <laughs> so Are you going to buy one? I'll bring a few. Mr. Walker, we'll give you one complimentary for, <laughs> for, for your <laughs> you contribution. For it. We'll give you a copy. Don't worry about it. We'll get you a copy. Jim? And, we'll, and we'll autograph it. I'll bring a few <laughs> of the joint committee. Okay. And, uh, that way they have them. Once we present it, are you going to put it up on the website? Okay, so it'll be available up there. We can just haul you know, it down from there. Okay. What more do you need, John? Are you short any sections? Just no more emails, that's all. Um, well, you have a delete going, button, don't you? Huh? You have a delete button. Yeah, but I just get Use confused. It. I get confused yeah. on the date. Yeah, yeah, which well, one okay. is which? Same thing, different. What's the yeah. yeah, that's all. <laughs> So I, I mean, I have them in folders, so I'm ready to go. I'm going to start converting them from PDF, and I'll stop the editing. And then when I see you on Wednesday, um, you'll have something to kind of look at. Okay. And then we'll make any other needed changes. And I'll put it back into a PDF format, send it out to everybody. And if we've got to make more changes, then I'll do that the following week. And then I'll send it out. Do we think it's worth having Dan also look at the electronic version? I don't know if you want to do that. Sure, I'll look at it. Yeah. Okay. I was going to send it to everybody, but I, mean, no, I can send it. Emery and Dan. That's it? Fine with Good. me. Well, maybe everybody else wants it. Who else wants to Who see else it? Wants I it? like well, it. Well, I mean, I, can we send it? There's going to be information from everybody. I want to make sure I didn't. Yeah, <laughs> okay. 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 We should send all the committee members a copy. Can we, can we take a step electronic. back? Because I'm not, uh, I've got a couple of comments I want to make on the changes that I saw this week, and I, I don't want John to get until we've had a chance to discuss them, I don't want John to be operating on, on the assumption that what he's got is, is the current form. Because I, I think there's still some the yeah, comments more, that I want to yeah, make right, right, based yeah. on, based but on what I saw. the meeting. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. But uh, what that, to me, what that means is what John's got in his inbox probably isn't quite there yet. Right. And that what we need to do as authors is send him something that's labeled our section dot final, final. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, and do it that way. So okay. before we get too far ahead so of ourselves. So we can, I mean, if I had them um, by Monday. Well, depending on what mm -hmm. comments people have on my section, you know, mm -hmm. I can do it in 24 hours. Uh, your section. Huh? I don't think we could change your section. Well, we had, a, we had a discussion last week that was 
one that I had not anticipated about what we were recommending with regard to um, enhancements on on properties uh, that complied with law. I thought I thought that was a covered issue, so I had to rewrite that portion of it. Um, and I don't know if anybody's had a chance to get feedback, you know, take a look at that portion of it. Um, Did everybody get it? Yeah, I got it. That's the one that went today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I didn't, we didn't get it. I really liked it. Well, thank you, and I appreciate that. My personal, my personal, the one concern that I have with regard to the intro was a, a change that Dan had recommended uh, with regard to the uh, CDM report, uh, where he struck a paragraph that I had drafted for, for Ruth. Uh, where it says that the recommendations of the CDM report uh, were viewed by the task force as examples of scope. I, I think that, that paragraph is actually pretty critical. And the reason I say that is because, and we heard it again tonight from Frank, Fred, um, where, he, where, he was looking, where he was looking at the scope of the investment that the CDM report was saying. And he's saying, he's saying you know, you start here, and over five years it balloons to this. And the reason it balloons to that is because it includes four or five pilot projects that we have no intention of funding over a 20-year period where their budget is $100 million. Um, so I really think that we need some language, whether this is the language or not. I, I, you know, the, the, the part that I put in there that, that, that you left, I really thought of as the setup line for the, for the substantive part, which is the CDM report doesn't matter. I was trying to say it in a constructive way because they did some yeah. great work um, but as far as that $100 million price tag, which I think a lot of people are going to go to, that, that was the part that, that, um, that your, your proposed editing takes out. So I'm, I'm more than willing to try and figure out a better way to say it, uh, but I think that that's really the nut. Yeah, I, didn't, I wasn't picking up that, that message. Yeah, that. see, and I think yeah. that it, was, it, was, uh, it was sort of a, a difficult paragraph to understand, so rather than even going there right. that deeply. And but if we're going to go there, we should be really specific. Yeah. And, and what you just said, I would say that. And I, I was trying you to know? be nice about it, yeah. which was I didn't, you know, I didn't want to it's throw... Be, yeah. you know, don't throw them under the bus, but we just said, yeah. you know, the report made, uh, had some ballpark <coughs> recommendations, some of which are, you know, are yeah. unrealistic. Yeah, uh, and, according and, to the DPW, and that way we can. Because I, I mean, here you know, we again we, we hear Fred saying, I look at this report and I see the fee that you guys are implementing going up fivefold in the next couple of years. We really want, based on that report, it may happen, but we don't want them to think of that as the sort of blueprint for for what what this this group is recommending. And so I was just mm -hmm. trying to, um, what's the word, inoculate ourselves against yeah. that kind of criticism in the future. Yeah, uh, maybe. Maybe we need to include the intention of the report somehow, because I think uh, undermining, you know, the decision-making process that led to a report that basically is useless does not encourage confidence. Yeah. You follow my point? I do. I, and I don't think the report is useless. Right. I think part of the problem with the report was that it took so long to do yeah. Uh, that it was yeah. overcome by events, uh, some of which, I mean, they, they quote deadlines that were passed before the report came out. And, and the deadlines themselves got extended another couple of years. So, you know, it, it, it really is not reflective in many cases of, of the facts that we know at hand. Having said that, however, it does talk to us about, if you look at what EPA is going to ask us to, may ask us to do, and if you look at what the Army Corps of Engineers will almost certainly be looking at, these are things we know. Yeah. Um, and that's in the report. Yeah. That is yeah. in the CD. Yeah. yeah. But the hundred, I mean, when, when, when the report came out, the, the Gazette wrote a story that said, and I had people walking up to me, this is even before we were doing this thing, saying, you know, $100 million. I mean, they got that figure, and $63 per family. And they, I mean, these were figures that they had popped out, that came out in the, in the, in the, in the Gazette story, that came right out of that report. Yeah. And I'm really concerned that that's going to continue to happen. And, and we did not, we did not do that. Right. We yeah. definitely did not do that. Well, well, our charge was to develop a fair and equitable 
stream of revenue uh, and, and propose some formulas to implement that. And I don't think we have to defend ourselves, at least I don't feel that I do, about a report that was written earlier uh, for reasons that had really nothing to do with our committee. Uh, and and I, I'm not at pains to, to worry about that. I don't think we should ignore it, because it's, it, it exists yeah. out there and people That's know right. about we it, so we have to deal with it. But, uh, but we didn't develop these fees uh, in anticipation of funding what was in that report. Nor did we these fees necessarily just going to generate $2 million. And maybe that's what we need to say. We did not develop this system based on what they said in this report. On, the, okay. on their yeah. estimate of yeah. expenses. That's exactly mm -hmm. yeah. right. On yeah. their yeah. estimate and of projected yeah. costs. Right. Yeah. Alex, is that a point? Well, I had one, but I, I, I don't see the relevance. I guess, uh, I don't, one, I don't feel qualified to comment on that report. I've heard what the DPW has said. Uh, it, it's sort of anecdotally, but I don't think we've made any any real evaluation of the need in the city. I don't think that that was our job. We were told by the by the exactly what Emory said. Uh, the city feels that it can't uh, it can't fund the, fund the needs, and we're looking for another way to to generate money. But I I don't think that that we ever uh, really. Evaluated the need in any kind of an official way. I, I would, I, I would absolutely agree. The only reason I felt compelled to draft this language and 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 see it included has to do with the fact that it comes up in every discussion we've ever had. Every time we go to a public hearing, somebody I says really CDM. <laughs> they, they it, it just it just keeps popping up because it's out there, and I think we would be remiss in not acknowledging that it's out there and. That it wasn't relevant to the work that we did, to the work that we did. Um, I think there's some overlap in this. I think the the actual implementation, the, the bidding out of that project, uh, uh, getting CDM to come in and do this, I think was a reaction to the mandates. I think part of what we were told to do is take a look at your system, and this is what we ended up with. This report is an effort to fulfill that directive, I think. So if we're going to, I feel if we're going to discuss the CDM report, then we kind of preface that, that discussion in that we were instructed to look at our system. We developed this report that projects $100 million worth of work. It's not really relevant to what we're doing here. I, I think it's part of the mandate, but it, like you said, it's really not, you know, the practicalities of implementing that report is not anything we've dealt with. So um, you're right, it's out there. Everybody will be talking about the CDM report. I think we can sort of corral that a little bit if we just say that, you know, this was something we needed to do. Here it is. It's useful to a degree, but it's really not our roadmap. You know? And that, that was entirely my goal, which was to basically say, yeah, don't bring it up anymore because it's not it's not it's not part of the discussion as we go forward. That was that was my only goal in doing this. So, you know, if there's a better way to say it, um, yeah, I'm totally I'm totally ears a big one big ear. <laughs> but, Have you uh, tried to wordsmith something that you think is acceptable? Why well, it's included in the uh, the introduction uh, that we were discussing, and it was uh, based on a couple of paragraphs that I, I forwarded to Ruth for inclusion in the original draft. And it was just in this last go-round that Dan, you know, made some comments as to as to what he thought. And and clearly, based on, you know, what he just said five minutes ago, I missed the mark in, 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 in messaging. Um, and so maybe there's a simpler way to do it. So we don't only for me. That. Everybody else may have been clear. <laughs> or didn't care. So it's not, we don't have that. Well, it's it's in it's. I mean, I'm looking at it here. It's it's in it's in the uh, the introduction that that I downloaded today. Um, so the problem I think it was in the up. one last week too. Yeah. The we problem last with week. what I handed out was that I handed out what Terry Colhane had sent today. Oh, okay. Which didn't include your paragraph from a few days ago. So for some people sitting here that don't. Gotcha. Have Sorry. Well, I haven't seen any of this. Well, it was in the last. It was in last week's go round. What, what did yeah. you? Do you want to read it again? Sure. 
There are two paragraphs. It says the uh, the stormwater report by CDM was a useful resource during our discussions. The report did not did an assessment of the city's stormwater and flood control infrastructure and looked at a range of budgetary issues, including current and future funding allocations and the creation of a new utility to fund future work. It also looked at a series of specific drainage and erosion problem areas in the city and projected costs necessary to address each situation. That's the case study portion, right. that, that last sentence. Yeah. And then That's the... Uh, million. Yeah, yeah, and, and then the, uh, the portion that... Um, uh, the, Dan suggested removing, uh, goes on to say, however, the recommendation in the CDM report related to these specific oh, sorry, cases were viewed by the task force as examples of the scope in planning, implementation, and funding of such projects rather than a quote-unquote to-do list of future city work. In fact, the examples included in the CDM report represent only some of the drainage and erosion problems that currently exist. So the point I was trying to make Some was... Some of the many. Huh? Some of the many. Some of the many is probably true. I didn't want to go <laughs> that because I didn't know that... I, 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 hadn't, I hadn't talked to Ned about what the, uh, the list of undone, you know, or uh, what, what's the word they use? Um, uh, delayed... delayed, Festering. Festering, yeah. Festering, I believe. Festering. Uh, uh, <laughs> deferred maintenance is, 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 the, catch, is the catchphrase. Um, so, anyway, I'm like, you know, and I'm sure, I'm sure, you know, I've spent too much time doing political speak, so I'm sure this could be trimmed down. Um, but 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 the nut was, don't look at the CDM report as a checklist of what the city has committed itself to doing in the future. That language is fine to me. So, um, and maybe that's what I should say: is don't don't look at the CDM report as a checklist of what we've committed to doing in the future. I, I would still like to acknowledge the value of that report somehow. I, I all that beginning part's going to be in there still. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's I think that's critical. No, I, I, I agree. I just I, I just I really wanted to inoculate us from, from future conversations about the C D M report says you're gonna do X. And and what we want to be able to say is we have not we have not, you know, thrown ourselves on the gospel of the C D M report. Yeah. Right um, and however, however, <laughs> however, people want to say it, you know. I, I, Do you want to wordsmith that? That'd be I, I'd be more than happy to take another crack at it. Okay, and and get John a copy of the wordsmith. I will send it around to everybody by tomorrow morning. Yeah, and and put final or final wordsmith or whatever sure. designation you. And I'm sorry to take all your time. On this. No, 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 that's okay. I mean, I think it's important that we get to common ground here because when we leave this committee. We're going to get accosted at coffee shops around town, bars, and what have you. <laughs> Already have. And, yes. Uh, so yes. 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 We need to be together on this. Even if we don't agree, we we need to know yeah. what what the issues are. And that's in the introduction. Yeah. Uh, are, are there other individual comments that people would like to make on sections or the whole report or whatever? And incidentally, there's candy here. I found I had I known that. Andy was such a powerful motivator, I would have brought her earlier. In the introduction, uh, paragraph 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it says we, we met nearly weekly for two months. I think we can change that. Three know. months. I couldn't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't remember when we point. started. It just seems like forever, you know? <laughs> uh, two Just a small sure. point. Even through the peanut gallery, you're allowed to have it. <laughs> Candy is free. Uh, we might. Are, are we going to pop out definitions that we want to see as mm -hmm. we come across them? Uh, yeah, I've got some suggested here already. So. Stormwater management. Do we have that. On um. Yes. No. yes. Well, we have stormwater, and then we have stormwater management services. Which, look at the definition there. It's on the second page. Yep. And let me know if you want me to change it anyway, or how would you like it to see it change? Well, I might take the word services out and just have stormwater management. Nope, this is that's good. I didn't see it. Okay, some that I've had suggested, suggested so far, uh, ERU and hydraulic, commercial, industrial, tax exempt. I tried to give away and put no and then other for the other category on the sheet, not other like other definitions, but on you know the other category that we have down here to define what's included in that. 
and um, I jotted down CDM report. We might just want to have a definition of what CDM report stands yep. for and when, you know, we can put dates then, what date it was done, maybe. Yeah, you can lift that right from the stuff that I sent you. Okay. Okay. So I'm open for more. I suggest we keep going. Yeah. Yeah, John has to, to leave early, so get your final version to John. So we'll send final versions with final on them. Yeah, so what do they have now? Yeah. In red, final. This is the end. Send us word documents to him. Yeah, okay. and it just helps me convert them. But oh, yeah. yeah. Do you have a particular like font or anything like that? that you I'll change it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. You want to the doc or doc file? Either one. So I have lost track of where the part that the heart of a recommendation is in the text. You guys have new text that I don't have mm -hmm. of the recommendations? Yes. The fee model? No, I've got the fee model details. Just the paragraph which the few oh, rice wrote, wrote about. Yeah. All the documentation of the models are there. I understand that completely. It's not a problem. I, I took issue with the way our recommendation process was described in the text that I got last week. The vote? Yes. Oh. Have you read the, the new paragraph? No, I haven't seen it, I don't think. Oh. That's okay. what I'm asking. That got sent out. And we, we should really all be... Um, together so on that's this. Great. And read what you got. Um, what Dan and I ended up with reads like this. After considerable discussion, a clear majority of the task force, seven members, voted for the hydraulic acreage model as their preferred choice. Two members voted for the ERU model, and two members voted for the Commons model. In a vote to provide an alternate choice, eight members of the task force voted for the ERU model task force voted to include the ERU model as the alternate model for two primary reasons. The relationship or nexus between impervious area and stormwater impact is relatively easy to explain to the public. You pay, you pay. The number, is, the number of billable ERUs can be determined by limiting the parcel area measurements to impervious area only. Also, it is recommended by the task force as an alternate model because it is used by more than 80% of all stormwater utilities nationwide, according to 2009 EPA information. Okay. Excellent. And, and we got some help from, from other members, and, yeah. and I think Excellent. Dan and I are both happy with yeah. that. Every, other people happy? Chris? I'm good. Yep. I'm good. Alex? Yes. We can't ask John because he isn't here. My concerns outstanding. All right. Boss. <laughs> What's this, chocolate? No. <laughs> I told you, chocolate is universal yeah. cure here. <laughs> you notice we moved, we moved up from M and M's. We've gone to the real stuff now. Yeah, hardcore. Do you have a I don't. Uh, does anyone else have concerns about individual no, pieces of the report? This is the most re this is what you this is it. Okay. We're really going to do very well to This is that's it. I guess my question and and unfortunately John's not here, but my question would be more along the lines of how how physically at the end of the day it's going to be structured because I think that Bob's question gets us to a really interesting one which is okay, what are you recommending? And that probably should be somewhere close to the front. You know, yeah. so I I think that we used to do this in the form of what we call an executive mm -hmm. summary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so a preferred model and alternate model doesn't 
doesn't do that. Oh, I think it does. I but I think that it's 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 buried, you know, ten pages in. Um, and what people really are going to ask us, particularly the media and stuff like that, yeah. which is why I've been sort of building yeah, the, right. the momentum, hoping to build this momentum behind an <laughs> FAQ model, which is what there's a lot of great information in here. Nobody's going to read it. What do we need to tell people? How are they going to find it as easily as possible? You know, and mm -hmm. and. Uh, I, Would yeah. that really be us? Wouldn't it be a city council? Except that when we release this, yeah. that's the first cut that people are going to get at this thing. Yeah. Um, I, I think maybe in the longer term, the FAQ and that kind of thing is a city council thing. Um, and they may call on us to do the drafting. Uh, maybe not. But, um, you know... I don't know who's going to get the phone call the day this thing drops, but I suspect it's not going to be the city council. Yeah, it's going to be one of these. It's one of these two poor bastards. You know, and 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 which I have a real issue with. I have to say, and I'm not at all happy with that fact. But we'll get back to that. Well, so but I think that I think that's a relevant discussion that we ought to have, which is you know, um, when you know. In the organizations where I've worked, where we put together a major report, we have what we call a rollout strategy, which is on the day this thing goes out, what are you going to do? Are you going to have a press release? Are you going to do blah, 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 blah? I think that we don't do press releases because we're an ad hoc task force, but I think we ought to be, um, we, ought to, we ought to prepare whoever's going to have to present this thing with better info than just... 40 pages of, of, of report and glossary. That's something else we have to think about. Uh, we're going to have this committee, we're going to hand them a disc, each, each member a disc and a hard copy of the report, but who, which one of us is actually going to stand up and present it and sit down and explain the models to them? Because I think when we do the presentation, we're going to have to explain the models. At least that's the way I would think it. But we have to decide all that stuff before the 8th. You know whether we're going to actually go into detail and explain to them what them how the models work. Yeah, I can it's, tell it's you right now, I've had maybe 35 phone calls, um, mostly from people who look at the recordings on YouTube, um, about the two-family houses being cheaper. Um, and I, you know, I have to admit I still don't really understand it all the whole formula. So I explained to him that it was, you know, very realistic. But these are things that we're going to have to we have to have somebody that can answer questions because the committee is going to have to do questions. So we've got to decide all this stuff too, not just get the packet and go and be unprepared. Well, I think there's there's an issue here, and the issue is this: we are reporting to the joint committee. Mm -hmm. We are not going to make this presentation to the general public. Right. That's not our responsibility. Uh, now, if the if the uh, the committee comes back and asks us to do that, then that's a whole separate charge. And then, on uh, my own view, is I think it's at that point we they have to decide whether they're going to appoint a new committee. My understanding was when we had finished the job, our job was done. The sun had gone down. The committee was gone. <laughs> the press will be there, of course. We make our report to the joint committee. I have no idea. I have Only no. Only you call them. Bob. I have. It will be. It I, will be. Uh, well, I don't know that. I have no feedback from Paul Spector. <laughs> my opinion, my understanding was we were going to meet the joint committee mm -hmm. at four o'clock in the afternoon. On July the eighth. On the eighth, which is presumably when the, the the council committee and the DPW committee gets together and has a meeting. It's a normal meeting. And we were going to have an agenda item. In that meeting, well, there was, I don't know whether we were expected to speak for 10 minutes or an hour. I thought well, this was a, the report already. But this we're was not, a special meeting you know, that they set up. I guess it's just a focus on that meeting. But it's their well, I don't know. I've never seen the agenda. Okay. That's a good question. I mean, you know, I'm, 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 I do not make a summary. Yeah, we are the agenda. For the meeting. Yeah. I believe. I'm not 100% positive. City Council Chambers. It's a one item. Yeah, one item agenda, uh, just us. So that's, that's us. Yeah. yeah. And is the expectation that the, our whole committee would show up, or just one person, or? I think it's entirely up to you. We worked hard on it. I don't, I don't well, want I'm it going. to be there. Yeah. I'm coming back from the cave to be there. 
computer. <laughs> so the, the, uh, well, I haven't heard from Paul. Have you seen the agenda for the meeting? There's one item on it. It's us. Uh, yeah, it's a special meeting just for us. It's not their routine, regular monthly meeting. At least that's what I understand. How many others have seen the agenda? You saw it or heard about it or? No, I'm just going based on Jim's word. Yeah, is. no, I guess my point is that I I I want to go to Paul and I, he owes us an agenda. Okay, go get him. I mean, go I, get him. I you know I think he owes us uh, what his expectations are. Uh, I'm I'll. Yeah. We'll have some conversation about it. Could even get to be energetic. I'd like to. Oh, sorry. Alex? Can I ask Chris again? What different than this introduction, a executive summary that's different than this significantly? What one page. Think, one page summary that's different than um, that. I think that in an executive summary, one of the things that you do is the first thing you say would be equivalent to the phrase findings. These are our findings. And basically what we're saying is that we are presenting two records. Our findings would be uh, several. One is uh, that the situation that confronts us requires um, uh, a new source of revenues. Uh, that it is our hope and expectation that these revenues be... Um, and it's done in the form of bullet points, which is why you do it a little bit differently. That it would be fair, equitable, blah, 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 blah. Uh, that it would um, create a new fee for the town of Northampton. That this fee would almost certainly be in the form of um, a utility. Uh, and that uh, looking at the various models that are out there, we are presenting two specific models as... Um, as potential potential models for how we might move forward. <coughs> of those two, we recommend this one more strongly than the other. And then if there's going to be something about credits, blah, 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 blah. And then the final thing is that uh, we leave many decisions to be made um, that are not, that are, that are either, um, that because of, because of the duration of our commitment or our mandate, we were not able to address, or because by their nature we're not under the under the form of of, of, of this group. And so it would be eight or ten bullet points that just go bang, 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 and you don't have to read the rest of the report. That that would be what I would that would be what I would recommend. First page. If we could put something together like that. Yeah. With some graphics. <laughs> Pictures are always nice. I'm looking at I'm just kidding. I think that'd be great if we could do that. Um, <laughs> on the first page. The first it, it just, well, it's just, it's standalone. Behind, Separate standalone. It wouldn't be in the very front front, would it? Well, again, yeah. one of these things, if you look at, if you look at government issued reports by like the general accounting office and the congressional budget office stuff like that they give you 58 pages of stuff with their facts and charts and stuff like that but the first thing you see inside the cover or when you go to the url where it's a non-print version is a one page executive summary or highlights or they call it whatever it is but it's this is what you will find when you look at what what we've done and then it creates a url to where you might go to find the rest of the material at least put it after yeah. the intro. Yeah. Same and, thing. You know, Chris, one approach might be to suggest to the joint committee that they work with you and some of us to develop an executive summary of our report. Because mm -mm. we're not going to get it together by the time we have to do it, I don't think. I think we just did it. Yeah, I think, so. I think be great Chris just did it. Just, just we type it up what you just said and, and send it off because that's what it is. I mean, yeah, you've got you it on your head already. Yes, Chris. I think. Yeah. That, I think if you I'd be that, more than happy if you people yeah, think it's worth yeah. worth our time yeah, to absolutely. do it to yeah. to put something together yeah, like that. Um, I just think that it's you know it's gonna it's gonna. S When I see the way things were extracted from the CDM report and what people what people cherry picked out of that, and how misleading that information was, I think that this is the first step in doing what we need to do in the form of public education, and it's really about message development. Reframing it. And fra well, not reframing it, but framing it the way we want it framed. 
um, because this is a reflection of the work that we did and, and what we put into it and what we, we think we, we got out of it. Um, and we don't, when we tell that story, I don't think we should leave it to other people to tell it. I think that we're the best people suited to do that. And, you know, if, if, if the outline I just sort of mentally did uh, is comfortable for people, I'm more than happy to write it down uh, and, and go from there. Um, but, you know, this is, it's amazing how little people know about what's going on here mm -hmm. and how important it's going to be. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I, I'm talking to city officials. I was at this thing uh, that the, uh, uh, the Pioneer Valley Planning Commission uh, put out last week on, on green infrastructure in, in stormwater management. It was really fascinating. Um, but I, I, I talked to a half a dozen people and talking about the fact that we were about to implement a stormwater fee, they were flabbergasted. They had no idea what was going on. And these are municipal officials yeah. in places like Chicopee and, and Holyoke and, and places like that who are just like, no idea that this was in the off offing. And, for, uh, for them or for us or for either? Just that anybody was even considering doing it. Besides chicken. Yeah. yeah. And, and then I, and I also talked to, I meant to talk to you about this, a woman who helped develop the Westfield model and why it was falling apart. Uh, she went, she, put, she helped put together a recommendation that would have raised $1.2 million a year. And Westfield says, we don't want to raise more than 600000 it was a purely political decision. And now they're in a situation where the system is tanking, and it's because, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I need you to come to Northampton and tell that story. Chris, are you, yeah. you're, you know, are you trying, you know, you have two hats in this. Uh, you know, you're on the Board of Public Works. Yeah. And the Board of Public Works is convinced uh, that we need this stormwater fee yeah. to, uh, it's, and it's, in fact, this committee is a product of uh, the city council. And the, but I don't see us as an advocacy. I think that we did a good job uh, of identifying uh, if you're going to raise money uh, dedicated to the stormwater system, this is the way we would do it. Yeah. This is not, I don't think that this is a call to do it. I, you know what? As you say that, it's a really fair point. And, and maybe I should take a step back. Um, because uh, of all the people in the room that I know, you're probably the strongest person with an advocacy background. And, and I, I, think that that's, I think that that's a, I think that the, that's a reasonable Well, point. I can see people asking me questions for which I don't really have a... Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, we didn't. We didn't look at the... You know, we just... Uh, yeah. Well, here's the charge. To deliberate in public and conform to the principles of best practices, to examine ways in which the costs could be funded, looking at what other communities have done in our own enterprise fund system, to recommend the general principles which should guide the new funding with particular focus on equity and transparency, to offer recommendations about actual formulas that might be employed. No commentary here about advocacy of any kind whatsoever. Yeah, that's what I, I see. I don't, I don't want to become a I person see selling we're, stormwater. Uh, uh, we weren't charged with convincing the body politic, if you will, this is a good idea or a bad idea. We were charged with, okay, if somebody did it, if we managed to convince the city to do it, this is a fair and equitable way, and, and here's the formula to do it. Hmm. That's what was asked of us. I guess I'm confused a little bit. Are you saying the executive summary sheet would be advocating? I, not necessarily, but I don't... Well, sure. You could. Yeah. Absolutely. To me, <laughs> it would be done so that it would just clarify, so that it would make the package easier to understand. Could, I know. agree. It could be done that way. <laughs> That's I'd like what to show I would it. look So for. it's a document that, that we need to yeah. talk about. And that would be yeah. my goal. But but you're right that it's it would be very easy to veer into that other other realm. Again, yeah. So I yeah. want to see. And yeah. I want to see the executive summary. I would. I would. I would, I would. I would. I would. I would absolutely assume that it needed that kind of vetting. Okay. My my goal would be to come up with something that was a series of very specific breadcrumbs that led us from the moment of inception to the two outcomes that we recommended. 
and, and why we preferred one over the other, and do it in that kind of form. Well, we've written an introduction which yeah. covers some or all of that. It does. And but it doesn't, but it doesn't, we don't get, it goes back to what I was saying, we don't get to the two models until we're ten pages into it. Is it really that and, far and into it? I'm just guessing. And, 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 and maybe it's four. Halfway. And, yeah. and when you do that, that is being an advocate for two models. Again, fair point. That, that is being an advocate for two models. It is not saying, here we looked at it and here's what we came to. I, mean, I, I think we... We need to be cautious. Now, the committee, you can vote to do this however you want to. <laughs> except that except that, if we say it six pages in, what's wrong with putting it on the front cover? Mm -hmm. Does the introduction say it, though? No. The no. So no, the just introduction a is more general. Like a yeah. It's just like a, yeah. basically, and again, I recommend that. I'm not wedded to the model. It's just the model that with which I'm most familiar. Mm -hmm. Those are usually in paragraph form, aren't they? The executive summary on the Yes. Yeah, yeah they are. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. just like a quick paragraph, paragraph. that says, yeah. we recommend X with Y as an option, and then go to the report. Well, if you put a single page on the front thing and say, that this is it, and nobody reads the rest of it, you have essentially said, this is what you believe, and this is what you want done. I mean, that's yeah. the de facto. Situation. But I think that Chris is right, that we have struggled all along to get people to pay any attention <laughs> to what we're doing. Um, and this report is going to be read by 50 people, I'm going to say. And I think we can get some, a single page that's got the meat of our report in, on one page. Then city councilors might actually understand what we're recommending. I mean, for me, you the first, yeah, for me, the first bullet point would be: we're here at the request of you know our leaders in response to two things we know are going to happen: a review by the Army Corps of Engineers and a change in specs by the EPA. That's two pieces of information that nobody else knows. Okay? They just, they don't know it. They're going to assume that we're just trying to take money out of their pocket. The no, wait a, minute, wait a minute. Who's they? The public. The public. The general public. But, but we, are, we are not addressing the public. The charge says the city council hereby creates a stormwater ad hoc advisory task force as an advisory body to the city council. I think we're addressing our fellow citizens every really well, I don't care what you think. This is what this says. This is what it says. I, I, let's, I would let's agree not, with you, Emery. I think that we're not in a vacuum around this. Right? No, no, so, but, but it doesn't say anything it, about that. It, it doesn't, but there, we did make a decision, I think, that if he was, by making that decision, um, you know, we had the option to say no. We don't think a fee is fair or equitable in any way possible. Pay it all. Last, last, that. last, well, I'll throw a curveball out there. I found something from San Mateo, California, that charges on your excise tax, on your excise fee, a stormwater fee, in the, in the, in your car and in excess is the roadways. Hmm. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. So, you know, sorry, but I just, you know, I don't know whether you I hesitate to jump in the middle on this, but <laughs> um, so I think Dan had done a pretty good job defining an outline for a fairly brief document that describes all the work that you did. And it's really not that long. I mean, usually an executive summary is something that you put together on something that's very long. And this is an important issue for the city. If someone actually picks up your report, I would hope that they could read the five or six pages that details the work that you did without needing to have a one page boiled down synopsis of what it is. Um, and I think. Um, somebody made the point that it would be the city council or the board or somebody else to advocate or do a frequently asked questions sheet. I think that is, that's a good idea in my opinion too. Mm -hmm. At some point in the future, an FAQ thing or boil it down or some other means of communicating beyond what this task force has done. I mean, I think the outline that Dan's done is good. I think the report is good. And it's not that long. 
I mean, it doesn't freak me out. I mean, I think Ten pages. I mean, no, I, mean I mean, if someone, you know, it's a big deal. This is a, it would be a new enterprise for the city. It's a big deal. If someone's interested to the point where they ask or get a copy of the thing, they should be able to read the work that the task force put into it. And if they don't, then, you know. So we should be, we should be really writing this to the joint committee, then, and not to the public, right? I mean, th this is, what we're doing is for them to consider, and then maybe, maybe what he's saying makes sense as far as the FAQs being developed, you know, as they, you know, contain what we give them in a bigger report. Um, I don't know, it's sort of getting confusing a little bit. Well. Here's what Dan put down in an email to all of us, to the committee. He's had an introduction to discuss the principles, recommended model, and other considerations, and then with the, with the thick part is the appendices yeah. part. So I have no idea how thick that's going to be, but it's, it's going to be a few pages. So probably this will run to 10, 12 pages at the most. I, I don't know. I have that. I think the part we're writing yeah. is really not that long. Um, and if you wanted to, in the introduction, you could just start it with a thesis paragraph that says exactly like, this is going to be how we got to our recommendation of this fee model. I mean, <clears throat> I, don't, I don't think the report's very long. I, I, I hear what Jim is saying. And, uh, I agree too. Because the introduction and the principal section are already overlapping a little bit. To put another yeah. page on top of it, yeah. I feel like would be... <clears throat> but I think an introduction paragraph, or I mean, just drop that down a little bit and put executive summary in just a paragraph if we wanted to, that just surmises exactly what we did quickly. Well, my view is sure. what is it that this committee wants to do? Uh, uh, what is our collective thoughts or wisdom on doing that? I think we should try to get through the report <laughs> as, we, as we have it now. And if we decide that some sort of executive summary is needed, I think that might be a little clearer once we have everything yeah. sort of stacked up. Because I, I think a lot of it is contained in here. I appreciate that point, though, and making it, you know, let me just read that, you know, like a presidential brief. This is, you know. And I'm totally but, good with that. I think that if, you know, if that somewhere down the line they, somebody feels that it's useful and they want to go back and do it, that that's good too, and uh, you know, perfectly. I'm perfectly happy to live with that. Um, but I want to hear. I want to hear Dan out when he talks about not wanting to be the spokesperson for the work we did, um, because you know that's that's part and parcel about how we're gonna how this is gonna be presented to the community. I don't mind. I don't mind actually making the presentation. Uh -huh. I just don't want to be the the point person. Yeah, yeah. necessarily for you yeah. know the called out name. In the body of the report, yeah. that's that's really it. I don't mind getting up and being and being our, you know, representative for the joint committee. If you guys want me to do that, I don't. I have no attachment to doing it. Trust me. Um, but I, I do feel like it has, you know, I I think we'd be better off. Now, granted, the public record right now has um, all the models by name, and that's fine. It does not mean that in the public record we can't put. A, uh, a cross-reference sheet, and then for the report, it's just going to be A, B, C, D, E, whatever. And if somebody wants to go back and figure it out, they can do it. I'd say let's make it more difficult to figure that out because I, I think what we don't, I mean, we all volunteered to do this. I don't think any of us should have to be subjected to the wrath of, of aggravated, you know, <laughs> citizens because of. Uh, volunteering to do something. <laughs> I mean, it's, and on top of it, it's like we're just we're making a report with recommendations. You know, it's yeah. it's not we're not making the decision. No decisions being made. You know, we're not just setting the budgets. We're not, you know, we're not setting caps credits. We're not. There's, you know, so I think it's it's important to at least in the context of the report to keep it non. Uh, not non-personal yeah. public record. It's personal. It already is because it's you know we've got all the videos and all that's fine. But Qu question: I'm not sure every 
what what the joint and, and I know you don't know either, but what the joint committee may want from us. I mean, I, I think it's great that the, the more of us that can attend and, and support you know our, our report just by being present. But as far as I, I don't know what they can be planning to ask us about it, or uh, you know, I, I really I, I haven't put my my mind to it. But what what do you see is is any possible interaction? The, the first I've heard of the one the agenda item uh, meeting was from Jim tonight. I had written Paul Spector earlier for some guidance on what was he expecting from us, did he want a PowerPoint show, what, did he want to discuss the report, just what did he want. I have heard nothing, but apparently there has been some conversation and if we weren't, I wasn't included in that. So I, I'll go back to Paul and say, no, you know, I, I need a clearer definition of what you were really expecting. It's apparently been scheduled at the uh, uh, downtown location on the 8th. Can, can we just choose what we want to do and just do it? I mean, can we just bring them the report and the CD and give a short summary of it and say, this is how you reach us if you well, have any questions? Well, I think there's two ways of going at that. One is Jim you, has a, Jim, Jim has has an idea. you, you okay. can ask them for their expectation. Mm -hmm. and see what they tell us. Only just because I know we don't have another meeting scheduled or, before then. That's or right. we yeah, could we just, decide. I could just write Paul Spector and say, since I haven't received any communication, this is what, we this is what we're going to do. So, so, so we, mm -hmm. I think we have two choices here because I've heard nothing. I think Jim might have something. I was just going to say that uh, the one of the meetings, the last meeting that Paul came to, this issue came up about the report, what should it be, and that sort of thing. And my recollection of that was that Paul left it very much up to the task force in terms of what the final report was going to be, how it was going to be presented, whether it would be a PowerPoint, whether it would be a memo, whether it would be a presentation, whether it would be whatever. So, I mean, what I took out of that, uh, the comments that Paul made at that point, was that it's really up to the task force in terms of what you're most comfortable with. The idea, obviously, is to be able to convey to the joint committee what the recommendations of the of the task force for and how you got there. So however you want to do that, whether it's a conversation, a lot of times with the, with the, uh, with the joint committee, you know, it's a small committee, I mean, Bob served on it for many years, sit around a table and talk about the issues that are on the agenda. It's not, it, it can be very informal. Or if you feel like conveying the message through a presentation would be more powerful or more appropriate, then you could do it that way. But um, I think you can really think the way you think you're most comfortable doing it bring a hard copy of the report and talk about it or whatever, but just to get that idea. With that said, how would the committee like to do it? Remotely. With <laughs> <laughs> the drone? <laughs> video, <laughs> put a big fruit <laughs> roosty in front of them. How many you people are going me. to be I'm there that are here now? Every one of us. So, so, so mm -hmm. one thing is we're going to intend as, as a group. Would you like to present, uh, since each of us have authored different sections, would you like to have go around the table and, and present the section of the report you did individually and just talk about it? No, no. It's things like the introduction. They can just read. They don't need me to. I think if we're there for questions, it, you know, if we're just present uh -huh. and they want to have a discussion, that's a great idea. Then we're just they there. They have the report. They then can they can say, would anyone want to comment? Yeah, on we get them the report ahead of time. Early. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we have to get it to them before the meeting, so they'll have a yeah. chance to review it before then. How's that sound? Alex, you had your hand up here. I'll come back to this in a minute. Um, I guess uh, I really, uh, from from the experience of these meetings, I would, if there is going to be a single person uh, who's, who's um, going to answer or be the chief spokesman, I'd really, I would nominate Dan. Dan seemed to me to be one of the people who had, uh, is more, more coherent on huh. the, particularly the formula, particularly, you know, the, uh, and the reasons for them. Uh, I found him to be somebody who comes across as a neutral uh, person providing information. And someone who's easily understandable. Yeah. Oh. Uh, 
I appreciate that vote of confidence. I feel the same about many of you here as well. So I'm, I'm not sure that we... Yeah, you know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether we need to appoint a, a person. Uh, I, I agree with you. I think Dan has shown, you know, great uh, range in this subject. So um, he absolutely will be answering some questions, I think, of the, of the Joint Committee. But I think all of us being there available to speak whatever they, they want I don't to want to wind up like we have at some of our meetings where we're all answering differently and yeah. the committee's sitting here right. looking at us like, well, you don't even know your mind, so how can you give us something? Well, you know? Well, that I'm was, that's, concerned about that. Uh, I, uh, this is a very complicated subject, and I think to have, to have the expectation we'll have a monolithic view of this is unrealistic. I'm not saying that. It is that. complicated, and... and uh, I'm not uncomfortable with different views. Chris? Um, I think that given the fact that the majority of us are going to be here, and I suspect that people who are not in the room are also planning on attending, um, that uh, we represent a really good resource for a group of people who are not as smart on this issue yet as they're going to need to be. And that at, at, and I think it's naive of us to assume that they're not going to have a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. um, and that people like Doug and, and, and Jim are going to be able to provide them with the nuts and bolts answers to some of the, some of the you know, questions that are going to come up. Uh, but that, uh, you know, if Rick's going to be there and Dan's going to be there, we're talking about the two main, I won't say proponents, but sponsors of the two provisions that we're looking at and having them be available to answer specifics with relation to that would, would be useful. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the advantage of that is, first off, they're the best vested in it. And secondly, um, it, 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 provides, it provides the group, and, and I suspect we're going to end up doing this for the, city, the full city council as well at some point in time, um, uh, with the understanding that this was a cooperative effort where a lot of good minds were at work. And, and, that, and that's, a useful, that's a useful image to be able to convey. Um, and I also think, however, that uh, you know during discussions, it's not inappropriate for people who were in the room who had who had a, a portion of the work done, even, whether they wrote it or just del deliberated it, saying, "If I can add to that, exactly. right. if I can add to that, yeah. because one of the things that our report does is raise some questions that we didn't answer, yeah. and they're going to want to hear what the issues that confront them are going to be." So um, I think that we should feel free to acknowledge the expertise that's in the room on certain provisions, but also also feel free as a group or individuals to say, but don't skip this part of it because yeah. God damn it, you know it's going to come up. <laughs> I think the credits part, frankly, I think that's going to be just as important. May or may not, but that's not so. you know, and and, and you know, I. I Different, different communities have treated it differently. I've talked to a couple members of the city council who will not move forward without it. Right, exactly. That's okay? what I'm saying. Um, but, right. but, you know, be that as it may, we all have contributed to the creation of whatever it is that comes out of here. And, you know, even if a certain individual's recommendations were not included, they were part of the deliberations. It would be a mistake for us, I think, to not have Dave in the room. Okay. You know, yeah, and, and and particularly given the fact that if you if you look at his statement from the last go round, he has undergone an incredible evolution on this, yeah. and to be able to tell that story, I think, is is incredibly useful. Yeah. Not not just great. in the outcome, but the, the but the fact that that's how he got here. You know, I think also just to add to that, I don't know where we've included in the report um, the help that we've gotten from the engineers, uh, yeah. you know, from the city. That that's going to be very, you know, important for them to understand. That we just kind of came in off the street and we started throwing ideas up and we got, you know, enormous help. Well, I I, for this. Well, I feel pretty comfortable. I yeah, can I can take care of that. You can thank the yeah, staff. And, and, and well, I'm going to do more than thank okay. it. I think there's some that they need to understand that there's there's a lot of money on the table here. Because yeah. these people spend a lot of time and they know where they get paid practically. <laughs> And if they'd gone out and hired this done by independent contractor, we've spent a lot of engineering money here. 
<laughs> See? But I, See, I told you. You know, I'm, I'm willing to go. I mean, willing to go one step further. And I was saying this, I think, at the yeah, DPW yeah. meeting the other day, which was, you know, we owe a debt of gratitude to people like Fred, you know, who will not get an acknowledgement, um, but you know, uh, kept us on the rails on a lot of occasions. Right. Mm -hmm. He continue. He will continue to do so. Damn right, he will. Even his all too. Oh yeah. I'm sure he had something else to do tonight with yeah. some other group. Yeah. So, so, so what I'm hearing is, I'll go to Paul and and suggest to Paul that we're going to show up as a group. What time? Uh, four o'clock. Four o'clock, I think. But yep. <laughs> I haven't received the agenda, so you know, I can't. Uh, I don't, I'll I'll get the answer to that quickly. That's pretty easy to get the answer to. And maybe I'll do a little introduction. Very simple. And then say, you have the report. We're here to answer questions. What are your questions, if any? And if they don't have any, we'll leave. Uh, but, but I think there's a, a question. Who will about, answer the first question? Hmm? Who will answer the first question? Well, it depends on what the question is. Well, somebody should. You should speak and say, here's the report. Introduce the members of the task force. Here, make some introductory remarks. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I can tell you what the first question is going to be, because they won't have read it, for starters. Um, well, e <laughs> even if we give them a week in advance to do so, <laughs> the first question is going to be, "What's it going to cost?" Which will demonstrate oh. a complete lack of understanding about what what it is that we're bringing to them. Well, yeah. Chris, I've heard that uh, maybe some members of the city council believe that we're writing the ordinance. Exactly. Right now. Yeah. <laughs> Well, if that so comes up, I'm going to read that. <laughs> if that comes up, I'll read the charge they gave us. Okay. And maybe that's the introduction. Uh, yeah. You know? Yeah. That's, that's maybe what that's I'll the come introduction. Right back with. And if, that, if that comes to me, I'll say, this is what you ask us to do. Yep. So while we have a little, a very little bit of time left, yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to go to go back to the few models that haven't been proposed yet, and propose I have a new one. <laughs> I just I just been messing around with excise tax. Yeah, I've been messing around with with spreadsheet that Doug has provided, and just trying to see if there's a way to get one family, two family, and three family to line up properly. And you know, and because because so much of this is um, you know is a matter of choice, right? We're 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 choosing. And placing value on different things, which you know, the cap for the number of acres of undeveloped land that we're going to charge for, the coefficients that we're going to use, what, you know, all of that is judgment-based, and you know, and or can be modified at any time, really by, um, you know, by the by the joint committee or the DPW, however they want to do it. Um, so I, I had gone through, I raised the cap on um, undeveloped property to two acres and decreased the pervious allot allocation to 0 0.05. From 0.7? No, from 0.1. Okay. And that ended up to 0.05. Point 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 okay. So 0.1 yeah, really. down by half. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, and that ended up putting... Single family at like one hundred thirty-one dollars, and and two family at one thirty-four, and three family at um, one sixty-one. Keeping the seven or actually, no, actually that was putting it putting the putting at a point eight two five was going, bumping that up. Going mid range and then going down to point oh five on the thirtieth. Right, and the yeah. same principle still applied. Yeah. Is that it's you know that we're we're providing some way of capturing undeveloped land. It's a small contribution. We're providing a little bit of of relief for just parking lots uh, or you know crushed gravel drivers or whatever it is uh, by not using a point nine five. Yeah. And you know the two acre you know is. I mean, it basically it comes out to that the one eight, person with one acre of undeveloped land pays half of what we originally had. Yeah. Two acre pays about you know the same, and then um, that's good. It stacks. 
so, but at least it gets, uh, it feels like one of the, now again, this, this does point to the arbitrary nature of yeah. all of yeah. the things that we're doing. And I think that's, you know, as Chris said early on, and I feel like we need to put this, put that in here somewhere, is that we don't want to throw out, you know, the, the possible because it's not perfect. It was, there was some quote like that. And I think we need to perfect have, enemy of good. Yeah. <laughs> we need to acknowledge that in the introduction that, that there was no perfect formula that actually sort of accounted for everything. Uh, and what we tried to do was get something that came up with, with a reasonable with the principle that everybody paid. With yeah, the principle, I, right. I think that that's, because there's a lot of towns where undeveloped land is, you just don't, you know. I'd be interested, just out of curiosity, um, how many people fall in the gap between one acre and two acres of undeveloped land? I don't know. You think it's like a big hmm. number? Yeah. Hold on a second. Digging yeah, in the weeds. Has anybody built a house here? Yeah. Yeah. Many of them. Well, one of the things when you do when you, when you build a house, there comes a point when you say, this is the house we're going to build. And you don't keep changing. Because if you do, the change orders will sink you financially. <laughs> And not only that, the house you build may be no resemblance to what you started out to build. Your point is, Emery, that I, I think enough we're, with the remodeling. If I you think say we're <laughs> perhaps the <coughs> peak in the formula. He doesn't want yeah, to do. Is that I, right? I, I, yeah. I, I admire Dan's engineering gymnastics I, around this. Yeah. I've had, but I think you're right. I think we have a formula. I think what's important, though, Dan, is that we tell them that this is arbitrary. If you do this, that's one of the purposes I wanted yeah. to see those other numbers. Yeah. If you do this, this happens. Here's here's the framework. Here's the framework. Here's what you can do to adjust it. And, yeah. and you know mm -hmm. what? Call Jim and he'll, or Doug, and they'll jumble the numbers for you just, until, you know. <laughs> I'll send them the word. If you could get that one time, so they don't cross it. They might be calculated. Well, jumbles it. Yeah, I'm not sure you can uh, do it. Okay, I didn't understand the technical term. You would have the essence of the political uh, tool that you're canning. Right. Yeah, but that's not our charge to do the politics here. I think we can no. that provide them the tool that, that it allows them. Well, allows they'll do the politics. They are engaged in politics around this. Oh, yes, there's no doubt in my yeah, mind so. about that. <laughs> that's clear to me. That's really clear. And there are people around this table that want to see a stormwater fee implemented to take care of these problems. There are some that may not. May not. Oh, yes. So, I, I think that's true. But that's not that's true. important. That, you know, what we're trying to do is give them a formula to work with. Let them deal with the politics. Well, Dan, if, if, if this question comes up on the 8th, from my point of view, feel free <laughs> to, to offer this suggestion <laughs> at the meeting. I mean, it would clearly illustrate how you can... Uh, yep. Uh, play around with these. You make the numbers come out however you want. Mm -hmm. Well, not however, but you can adjust them. There's there's some limits to uh, that sort of thing. Yes. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah. Uh, it, it's not clear to me whether the the powers that be will ask this committee to continue. My understanding was that when we got this job done, we were done. I expect not. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was told. And and so uh, you know. I don't know what will happen. Won't well, be as useful as the CDM yeah, yeah, no, 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 but, 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 but But that's something to think about. You know, do we want to serve or not serve? Or, or uh, my own view is that if they want a committee, they ought to reappoint a committee. Yes. Well, I'll take it on the table, and we'll cross yeah. that bridge when we get there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but forewarned is forearmed. Yeah. To, to think about <laughs> things is always a good thing. <laughs> to just let it happen to you. Uh, my life is such that when it just happened to me, I didn't deal quite as well as when I had some Saw idea it was coming. coming right? <laughs> I at least prepare to duck. Well, not always successful. Sure. So I'd like to take a few minutes here at the end of what's been this hugely long process to say we did a good job. We really have learned to work together and bring different pieces of our experience and abilities to coming up with a real plausible rec set of recommendations, I believe.
Damn. It's been fun. Because we didn't know, we really didn't know each other much before I knew Alex and this or that, but we have become a group of real acquaintances through going going through this whole collaborative process together. And I think that's a we should be proud and happy and satisfied with our service to the city. And on this on this in this group. Thank you, Bob. I know you've been involved in many civic duties and uh, I appreciate that insight. Mm -hmm. I, I agree. It's been it's been a pleasure, you know, being on this on this team. And figuring this thing out. Exactly right. Yeah. Uh -huh. it, was, it was complicated and it definitely it had moments when it looked like it, it looked was sore. not gonna go. <laughs> yeah, it did. Yeah, we have a sheet that is <laughs> about a couple more times. <laughs> well, if you think it's been provocative here, wait till the general community gets a hold oh. of this. I'm sure you're right. I, Everybody I suspect there will be discussions with considerable more energy. Well, have to here. put do not shoot the messenger signs on our doors, you know that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's scrub those names <laughs> off today. Yeah. 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 Uh, it appears we're not going to have another meeting. Yes, at this point. Uh, John will send the PDF to everybody of the uh, reports. I'll go down there next Wednesday and sit and take a look at it. Will there be an opportunity to comment on the final report or not? Yeah. Well, yes. He was going to send it around, he said. Yeah. yeah. It's all yeah. electronically. Yeah. Yeah. If you, you know, if you do a last, like the last QAQC, and then we'll give him final comments, and we'll do it once. One yeah. time, right? Yeah. 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 Your computer handle that final report? Probably not. Well, yeah. I don't know. What are you using, an etch a sketch or uh... <laughs> 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 a. Uh, the old, old Texas instrument. Which not plugged in. Plugged in. Alex Vantan definitely deserves a uh, response. <laughs> 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 yeah, if you see something, get, you know, wave the red flag. I mean, let's not go blundering forward with an obvious error. That this. I bet John, in his one week absence, too, it'll be sort of new to him. You know, well, he's looked it over, I suppose, but it would be nice to have one person's eyes yeah. see the whole thing. Yeah. And, uh, trust it. He apparently has a format at Smith where they uh, put together proposals. Yeah, they've got the IT system up there. they got yeah. all the fancy yeah. uh, systems. He won't be doing so. it. No? That would be my guess. <laughs> no, he, he's got <laughs> staff people who will handle all of these requirements. Is that not correct? Secretary's rule. Uh, but she does it. Is there anything else anybody would like to say or bring up? Would you do it? Would you? Oh, yeah. I wouldn't do it if I had staff to do it. <laughs> this is not a, uh, this is not a uh, daytime job. It is for the him. The labor of luck. Chris? <laughs> it is for him. He's doing Sir. this from Smith. Doesn't he work at Smith? Yeah. Is a Smith representative? Oh, I'm sure he can make the argument. The FAQs. Yeah. That's his job. Do, yeah. do you think that that what we could generate would be different than what they could, and should we attempt anything? Um. My feeling on that, having had the conversations that we've had today, is that uh, uh, let's let the Joint Committee decide what they okay. want to do moving forward. Okay. Um, see how the chips fall. All right. We'll punch up the glossary and get that. Yeah. Who, who's yeah. on that committee? Bill Dwight, uh, Jesse. Paul. And Paul Spector. And it's Gene, it's Gene Tacey. Gene Tacey. It's Gene, Gene Tacey, Paul Spector, and, uh, and, yes, and Jesse, yeah. sorry, MJ Adams, Terry Twain, and Mike Parsons from the yeah. board. Well, I, just, I would like to uh, also just say, as Bob did, that I've had a really good time here, and I really have got to meet a bunch of people who I've I uh, respect and appreciate, and I particularly uh, thank uh, Jim and Doug for the patience and good humor. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Other comments? I would just I would just um, recycle a comment that you made when we were looking at uh, extending the deadline, which was um, it wasn't for lack of trying, that, that we did a lot of good work here. And uh, uh, I think that when we walk out the door, we, you know, there's, there's going to be hell to pay, but I think we ought to be proud. I think, I think, I think we ought to be proud, uh, proud of the work that we did. And, and it wasn't for lack of trying. And to echo, you know, what, what 
others have said, which is it. For me, it's been a really enjoyable experience. Hell, it's actually, some of you, for me, it's been a life-changing experience. I quit my day job. I now want to get into municipal, municipal planning on, 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 a, on a regular basis. So uh, um, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's been good getting to know y'all. And let's, I hope we all, I wasn't kidding about the reunion part. We'll do a barbecue next June. Can we all get our first stormwater bills. We'll have a reunion. That's right. <laughs> well, have a <laughs> You know, I'm a little surprised the apprehensiveness of some people about what come forward. I was chairman of a local school committee for a number of years, uh, and, and I can't imagine the discussion would be a whole lot worse about stormwater and flood control than, than it is about schools. Uh, that's because you scared the crap out of us at the first I'm, meeting there, Henry. I'm, I'm just not, that is not something that really concerns me. If somebody calls me, I'll talk to them, but I, I, I yeah. Yeah, except that we're talking about, we're talking about raising, raising people's, you know, I, I don't want to use the T word, but people are going to pay more as a result of what oh, comes out of here. No doubt about that. And at that. a time of economic hardship, you know, that's, that's a tough, that's a tough, bid to make. Yeah. That's why um, they need to educate them. Yeah. But I mean, why. you know, one of the things that we hear on the BPW all the time is I don't have kids in the school system. Yeah. I don't blah 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 blah. Why am I paying more for this? <coughs> and we're gonna hear it. We're, we're gonna mm -hmm. and oh, it yeah. and, and for, for some people it's gonna be hard to connect the dots on why this is something that, that we as a community need to do. And, you know, it, it, the point was raised at a meeting, which was, you know, 100 years ago, some, 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 some people in this community had the forethought to start thinking about our aquifer and buying up, buying up lands around the, 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 the reservoirs and things like that and, and changing over to, a, you know, a, a stormwater sewer system that wasn't a combined system. And these were all expensive investments, and they were hard to do, but, the, but they were the kind of forward thinking that, that make this community the kind of community in which we want to live. And that's a good argument to make. It's why we're here. But it's a hard argument to make when people are broke. And, yeah. and every time you turn around, you're being asked to pay for yet one more thing. And we, built, we started that high school uh, in the middle of the depression. Right? It's the planning for the, for the new high school started in 1935. They opened in about 19... 39, 40, whatever the dedication, on the eve of the World War. Oh, damn. <laughs> I mean, it's particularly tough in North Hampton. Puts it in perspective a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Is that federal money? That was federal as well. Yeah, yeah. That's true. It took a yeah. tax burden. Yeah. Yeah. More comments? Should we adjourn? Mm -hmm. Don't move. You abandoned the perfect oh. good building downtown. Oh.